Watch Dogs is here. Isn't it funny that I said I wasn't really interested in when they first showed it? But somehow that's changed now, so let's get to it. Watch Dogs is about a man named Aiden getting his just revenge on the bastards who attacked him and his family, resulting in the death of his niece. Now, we dive into a world to catch those killers, but the more we climb the ladder, the more questions arise. Who is who? What are they doing? Hackers are ruling the world. There's so many of them that were just twirling into a hell zone of betrayal and sabotage and it's beautiful. The gameplay's main focus is giving you a world to explore and use at your disposal. You are in Chicago, which is a pretty cool choice seeing as you don't really have that in other games. Using your pro hacking skills, you'll be able to hack street lights, roadblocks, road spikes, cars, cameras, cell phones, and so on. The game wants you to take down the big bads and you have your choice of either doing it really quietly, like stealth, or blast your way through as always. It's your choice. In Chicago, a world filled with joy and fun is Watch Dogs worth checking out. Let's find out. As usual, we'll start with the good. The atmosphere and interaction with the city and people. I know it's odd to talk about this first, but it just popped into my head every time I started this game up. The way Chicago looks, this gritty yet somewhat futuristic, but at the same time modern world, the way that people react to everything, gunshots, explosions, they call the cops on you, they run away from you if you put a gun to their face, they'll stop or beg or run away depending on their attitude and who they are. People will actually rap on the streets just randomly. Random phone calls from people which you can listen into and they almost are always different. Everything feels alive and I love the atmosphere and city in this game. Next up is the hacking. I'm going to go general here because I can go into everything, but I don't, I don't want to make this a 22 minute review. With the touch of the square button on the PS4 controller, you can hack a ton of shit. From lights to cause car crashes to blowing up gas pots in the middle of the street to stop cops from chasing you to hacking cameras to locate everybody in a building before you even go in so you can take them out one by one. You can even hack people's bank accounts and make a little extra cash. The hacking mini games also are pretty fun and actually kind of challenging at times, yet never too much in your face to get really annoying. Now, crafting and gadgets. This is one of my favorite things. You can build gadgets such as fire grenades, lowering tools, and even blackout gadgets. On top of that, each gadget is useful in different ways. If you're going for a stealth approach, you're going to use the lowering and the blackouts and your silenced weapons, and it'll work perfect. If you want to go shoot and kill people and blah, 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 set up mines, you can use grenades, take out your trusty shotgun and blow somebody's fucking face off. So, it's pretty much awesome, the fact that they give you all these choices. Now, the voice acting and story are also well done, and presented, in my opinion, pretty well. It seems that the interwebs does not like Aiden, but since this is my review, <laughs> I do. Yeah, that was my laugh. His response to situations shown are pretty realistic in my opinion, and I believe that he rarely shines when he talks to anybody in his family. On top of that, the side cast is pretty stellar, and some great lines from certain characters. The story itself becomes progressively better if you ask me, and I actually got more interested as it went on, which doesn't always happen with these type of sandbox games when they're filled with so much other shit to do. You are my brother, and I love you. But Jackson is my world, and I will keep you away in a second before I let him get hurt. Promise me you will stop. You can't save Lena. I killed her. No, you didn't. The combat and stealth, well damn, who would have expected me to finally love a cover system in an open world game? I fucking, oh, despise Grand Theft Auto's cover system. Saints Row is okay at best, does he even have a cover system? And Second Sons really did fucking need it, that was one of my complaints in my review. So finally, one that comes and it actually works and it's smooth and it's refreshing. 
Also, you gotta love the stealth. It's simple, it's one button takedown, but thanks to the cover system, it actually flows really well and resembles Splinter Cell, which in my opinion is good and probably one of my favorite stuff game series of all time. Also, let's talk about the shooting. It doesn't suck. It reminds me of Splinter Cell, the newer ones, mixed with Ghost Recon, but that's a good thing. Unlike other open world sandbox games, this one actually works really well in the aiming and hit detection part. Missions and side missions, both for the most part are pretty well done and fun. The main missions give you enough diversity that you'll actually be juggling different types of mission sets and not always just driving from one point of the map to the other. If you don't get what I mean by that, watch my other sandbox games that I reviewed. Anyway, side missions are also really well done for the most part. Fix our contracts, gang takeouts, and even connecting to the AR system and finding it and have to climb buildings all works pretty well and gives you a decent challenge. The driving. This is half and half, and I'll get to the good is that it is arcadey and actually fun to have chases instead of doing these slow fucking reverses like real life, because I don't know why people want to drive shit like real life in a video game, but getting stuck in things that you're like, what the fuck? And, you know, it, it's just... Ugh. And people get stuck on that and they're saying this isn't real enough. Well, pff, good. I love the fact that I can burst through just about everything and go through lamps and lights and shit and not have to slow down. I love that. So, whatever. Different strokes for different folks, right? Online is pretty much seamless. You'll get a notification that people want to come in and put bounties on you and hack you and all that cool stuff. You can do that. You can also do free roaming and you can do races. And while this stuff doesn't really appeal to me much, the fact that you can do it and it's so easy in the middle of single player and just they come right into your game or you go into theirs, it's great. It never breaks up the flow with a bunch of different menus to get onto the online section. Now, the bad and ugly list are pretty damn short, so haters, start crying your bucket full of tears. The driving, like I said, is arcadey and fun, but not without issues. The turns on a lot of cars is very off balance, and you'll probably get pissed off more than you actually should. Also, too many cars feel very similar. They're fast cars, there's heavy cars, there's slow, broken down piece of shit cars, and that's about it. Some of the side missions are pretty eh. I especially was saddened by the AR missions. The parkour one isn't as free-flowing like their Assassin's Creed series, so it feels a bit clumsy and not all that fun to do. I also don't like that alien shooting one. That one just fucking boring, and I don't know why anybody would like that one. So I was a little disappointed by the AR missions, which to me look the most fun, but really weren't. The other missions are more fun. So, there's one more thing, and it's not even in the ugly section, we're still in the bad, is some bugs here and there. And in my 20 hours of game time, I never had a major game-breaking glitch. The ones I suffered are something like repeated dialogue when something doesn't come through right. Also, sometimes missions take longer to start than they should, but this is expected in a sandbox-type game. Small ones, but nothing, again, to really even scratch against the game. Overall, I fucking love this game. It surprised the shit out of me. I hear complaining from certain people about one button hack, or not real enough, or not like GTA enough, and I'm just sitting here like, good. You don't have to have a complicated hacking system in a video game to have fun with it. The situations that you are put in are complicated enough and fun enough that you can get hours of joy. The missions are all well diverse and balanced and they never feel like you're doing the same fucking thing over and over and over again. No fucking bank mission over and no fucking driving all the way here or no picking up a fucking car and putting a fucking thing on top of another fucking thing, motherfucking Grand Theft Auto. Anyway, gonna calm down. Aiding, aiding. Aiden is a well enough done character and not a loud mouth over the top, cursing every two seconds, just a curse type of character. Kind of like this. I'll give you an example. Motherfucker, I'm going to fucking shoot your fucking face off. You hear me, you motherfucker? Do we know a character like that? Think hard. So sure, you can sit there and be like, you're giving this game too much praise. And I'll sit here like, well, good for you, little sheep. 
But, however, the difference is, this is my review, and you're watching my thoughts, so I'm here to give you that. If you disagree, by all means do so, but it won't change my little mind. I'm loving this magnificent game, 20 hours in and I still got a lot more side stuff to do. I'm gonna be giving this one a beautiful score of a 9, and hope to see that the next one basically fixes all the little small mistakes, gives us an even bigger and newer city, and makes a fucking masterpiece. Kind of like Assassin's Creed 2 did for Assassin's Creed 1. So for now, this is the mother effing best game I played all year, baby! Go and enjoy it. Buy it. Play it. Don't hate on it. <laughs> did you know his voice? Oh, Jesus, Aiden, just leave it. It's fine. It's fine? He thinks he can get inside. How do you know what he thinks? You're checking the locks. Look, I can handle this on my own. We do not need your help. Nikki. I can find this guy. Okay, look, Aiden, God, you have not changed at all. We do not need your help. Please stop trying to fix our problems. Every time you try, you just make things worse. Come on, get up! Get up!